I wanted to make a video, a Christmas video or something, because I'm bored and you know, I wanted to use a new track video. Christmas questions episode. Do you guys like my background? <laughs> oh! One noise to describe how, how happy you are for, about Christmas. Okay, okay, okay. Here it goes, here it goes. Oh. Thank, you. Thank, you, thank you. I couldn't have done this without the help of Barbara. Barbara over here. Thank you. Thank you for always being right here with me. Thank you. Thank you. I, I can't hear from my right side of my ear. My dumbass was in the shower. And I go like this. And the water fucking fell in my ear. So now the water doesn't want to come out. And I'm afraid. That I'm end up dying, and the water's gonna go to my brain, and then I'm gonna die from brain drowning. Is that a thing? Uh? Question number two: What is the best present you ever received? It was from this year, which was the tripod and this highlight. I don't know if you can see it, but like, <laughs> girl, I have it on my face. Oh, you can't see it? What? You can't see it? It's me. Hi guys, welcome to a new makeup tutorial. Um, today we're gonna do a full contour with Oni highlight. And yeah, you can like get this. You rub it. You rub real good. And then you just put it all over your face. Oh my god. Oh. My mom says I put too much on my face. And I'm not supposed to do it. I got this from... Ah, thanks for having oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The worst present I ever got was, I wouldn't say worst, but I didn't like it. But it was shit from out of the style. Or out of the style. Whatever, whatever, okay, get over it. And like, I don't like it. Because like, it has the name straight out right there. And then, I'm like, that's for like white people. White people don't get offended, it's okay, it's okay. We're homeless. So we can go eat some Taco Bell after school or something. I don't know. Don't get offended though. And if you do, well then all oh, fucking well. Sing a line from your favorite Christmas song. Okay, I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. I can't believe I finally have this chance. American Idol will finally, finally consider me in the program. Right. Jingle bells, Batman's bells, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost its wheels. If you don't know what it is, it's um, Motion Isn't White. Look it up, it's a good song. You should like play it on your speakers, put your volume full on blast, get all the riches with that song. Rename a reindeer. This is from that Elf on the Shelf. So my sister wanted it. We went to like Walmart. We were looking for it. We didn't find it, but we found this. Which is like the, the reindeer of Don Digger or pet, the pet. I would name it Barbara. Right, Barbara. Right. Shh. You'll get your brownies later. Okay, now on um, Tinder, if you, if you ever watch this, I got Kathy, a bit of person that you will ever get her. Okay. And every time I want something, I tell my mom, Mom, make it us. She's like, oh, I can't get us stuff on it. Like, I want this mom. She's like, mm. I love you, Oh, I got him. Oh, it's fucking Clash of Clans. Join my clan on Clash Royale if you have any new haters. It's Crystal Throne. <laughs> the Christmas memory would be like, what was it, like two years, three years ago? It was me, Joseph, my neighbor Luis, and Marco, my other neighbor. We're outside chilling in the middle. My little fucking kid right there. And it was like night. We were, we used to stay outside till like 11 or something. And then like I had a Christmas hat. We were all in like, Christmas. We're like, oh my god, we had like so much fun outside. And so like one day we're just sitting there like listening to music, laughing, joking around. You guys do this. Oh my god. So like, I just fucked your bitch. <laughs> Bye. This so it's like a you. Like that, and then there's like a little tunnel right here, so that you could go to a parking lot. And then you just see a dog walk in through there, and then he's just like, 
And now we're just like... And then we just turn on each other. And then... And then I walk forward. They run inside. And then they fucking run me over with their feet and everything. And now I'm just on the ground. Next question. <laughs> like, PewDiePie. We you want to shut It was yeah, first time ever. Like, we were all day in the fucking street. Like, I feel like a rich white person living in Beverly Hills, okay? But we usually go to like Vegas or something or Phoenix and celebrate with my other part family over there. Yeah. Well, basically. Because it was raining and like, not a nigga, a nigga not about to die in the fucking freeway or something with the water and like fucking cars. Oh shit, my bad. Real or fake Christmas tree, real. Who the fuck has fake? That's how fake you are. Oh. Tell a scary Christmas story. This is the name of the, the story. Christmas tree decorations. Okay. It was a Christmas Eve and an 11 year old girl was home alone. And her name was Juliet. I the tree, putting the little lights all around it, and making it look fancy like the little, what do you call The little surf balls. The little the hanging balls. What do you call it? I don't fucking know. Her mom calls her. And it's late at night. She's like, oh honey, I won't be able to make it today. I have to stay at work a little longer. She's like, okay mommy, I'll just wait decorating, watching some TV. She heard a knock on the door. So then she turns down the volume on her TV. Oh, poop. What is that? So she walks through the door and then she looks through the little peephole. And she saw a man standing dressed up as Santa Claus. He began knocking on the door loudly. So she asks, who's there? It's Santa Claus, the man replied. Let me in. I'm cold and I'm tired and I'm hungry. My mother isn't home right now, she said. Her voice shaking. Please leave. Okay, first of all, who tells someone at the door that's creepy and ugly and musty to see that their mother is in home or even harder and rattling the doorknob? It's Santa Claus, Julian, he growled. Have you laid out some milk and cookies for me, Julian? You know how much Santa loves his milk and cookies. Ooh, milk. He needs some milk and cookies. You know, Santa Claus. The young girl had a sinking feeling in the pit of her stomach. How did he know her name? Now that's just straight up creepy fucking rapist stalker. The man began kicking and pounding at the door. She peeked out again and saw him reach into his coat pocket and pulled out a switchblade. He shoved the knife into the keyhole and tried to pray it open. Juliet was terrified. She didn't know what to do. If you don't go away, I'll call the police, she shouted. All of a sudden, the knocking stopped. Juliet stood perfectly still, afraid to move. Minutes passed and she started to think that the man might have been scared away by her threat. She slowly approached the door and looked through the people to see if the man was really gone. The hallway seemed to be empty. Running down the hall, hallway with an axe in his head. Juliet screamed and ran to the closet in panic. What the fuck? She crouched down and hid behind the coats as tears of fright rolled down her cheeks. Trying to smash down her front door, there was a mighty crack as the door gave way and the man came crashing through the splintered wood. Now that's Laughing to himself, he called out, Juliet, my pretty, where are you, Juliet? Don't be afraid, we'll have ourselves some fun tonight. Where are you hiding? Ooh. Come on, Papa, you need some fun tonight. The crazy intruder walked around the house, searching for the frightened girl. Juliet curled up in the closet, trembling with fear. She threatened, she threatened to think what he planned to do to her. If you know what I mean. Then the door began shaking and she heard the man's voice laughing. Juliet, I know you're in there, he said. Open up for Santa. Open up before I open you up. Okay, that's just weird. The man swung his axe and he struck the closet door with a huge bang. Tearing, tearing into the flimsy wood, Juliet screamed and began crying bitterly. She grabbed a wire coat hanger and twisted up, twisted into a point. The horrible man tore the doors off their hinges and thrust his head in between the coats. The point end of the coat hanger bravely thrust it into the man's face. It went straight into his eyes. Coiled in pain, screaming with rage as blood flowed down his cheek. He ripped the wire out of his eye socket and he grabbed Julia by the hair. Deal! 
Then he dragged her kicking and screaming out of the closet. The map pushed her to the ground, held her tightly by the neck, leaning over. Blood spilled out of his eyes, splattering all over her face. Oh, that's just nasty. Fucking nature. His mouth twisted into a grotsky smile and he whispered in her ear. Baby, let me whisper in your ear. Was it mommy? Tonight you will be privileged, my lovely Juliet. I've got a list and I've checked it twice. I'm here to decide if you've been naughty or nice. You can scream and scream and beg for your life, but naughty girls get the axe and naughty girls get the knife. It was after midnight when Juliet's mother returned home. She saw the front door hack and decided to look for her daughter. Gazing around the carnage, her eyes struggled to take it all in. Then she began screaming in absolute horror. The Christmas tree was decorated with Juliet's entrails, and her severe head was perched on the top. I really like the picture they use on the Etsy. It's like some creepy guy right there. Like, <laughs> Merry Christmas! Ha ha ha! What's a elf's favorite car brand? A Toyota! <laughs> it's common what you guys got for Christmas or something. If you didn't have, if you don't celebrate Christmas, then sucks for you. There, there, child. Merry holiday. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet, you haters. Stop hating. Watch <laughs> it.